Okay, what you got here is a one cup size metal pot with tin foil lid on it very tightly and with a hole in it, therefore mimicking um, a commercial or commercially available ethanol burner for internal usage because they have flat-ish containers with thin slits, slits in the lid. What happened is the flame height was quite small I made the gap a bit wider, uh, I set fire to it again, and then slowly bit by bit the flame height went up and up and up until we got this nice, relatively tame, uh, methylated spirits fire. So I think that's the kind of thing we could be looking for, oh that's quite warm actually, uh, I like that. Uh, if I was doing this indoors, so I'm once again confident about that. Now, open containers like that one there provided a, uh, obviously a very good high flame height, but didn't necessarily help outright. The large containers, I mean, they those things burn very quickly. When you have a small aperture at the top, that substantially slows down the rate of combustion, and I mean substantially. So. <clears throat> If I was to have more in the way of gel fires, and I was to have a system of the tight-fitting aluminium lids with apertures in them and light from that, from that position, that would control the rate of burning. might also reduce your heat output, but it will control the rate of burning, making the fuel last longer. That's definitely something to bear in mind when doing uh, proper you know, um, ethanol. And the only other thing I can think of is that basically what I'm doing here is just designing different forms of methylated spirit stove or Trangia stove. So essentially if I just like studied how Trangias and other forms of methylated spirit stoves were built and I just built one slightly larger, then basically that would be, that would suffice just as well. So, here we go.